Hi, this is Paul Haar from the saxophonist.org and I'm here with a review of the dual alto and soprano saxophone case from ProTech. You know, ProTech is recognized around the world for being an affordable option of case that offers above average uh, protection for your instrument. They have a variety of cases from molded cases to square cases and this is their offering for the person who wants to carry both alto and soprano. So let's take a look at the case from the outside. It stands about the same footprint as a typical case. In fact, if you want to hand me this case here, here's a typical alto saxophone case. You can see it's just slightly bigger. Okay? So, typical to a lot of ProTec cases, it has a wooden frame with a Cordura out uh, covering. They use YKK zippers. And as you can tell on this case here, it has an outside pocket that can hold music. This will hold, uh, if you think of those orchestral, leather orchestral folders, this is big enough to hold that. It is gusseted and holds, oh, I guess about a good three and a half to four inches worth of music. There is an inner case uh, sleeve here that you could segment your music. And there are two pockets where you could put stands or other instrumental needs. Uh, there. All right. It has steel ring enclosures where you can put uh, the enclosed shoulder strap. It has a padded handle along with a Velcro enclosure. It has two inline skate wheels that are solid. These are exactly like what you would find on a skateboard or on inline skates. And I found that you can actually go on to ProTech's uh, website and order new ones should these become damaged. On the back, it has a telescopic handle. Now this is like uh, other telescopic handles that I've seen on the guard cases and whatnot. I will say though, I would like for this to go up a little further than it does. It does have two stages, but I found for somebody, uh, I'm roughly around six feet tall. It's slightly small for what I'm looking for. Has leather reinforced handles for easy care, as well as guards on the back. Uh, one thing I will tell you is you'll notice that these bumpers, which are very protective and, and serve to um, uh, protect the case when it's flat. It's nice they're about two inches off the ground. So if you should happen to set it on something that's wet or maybe let's say on dirt, um, it's not going to affect the case. One thing I will say is this exposed portion here does make putting the, the case over your shoulder and against your side or your back a little bit uncomfortable. All right, so let's take a look at the inside of the case. Again, I like the Velcro enclosure so you know that both handles are together, as well as this little safety uh, Velcro flap here. Not only will it protect the zipper, but for those of us who forget to close the case, it could be our last line of defense. The zippers meet with rings so you can actually put a luggage lock in between here, which is nice. And they zip very easily the full length of the case for it to open. Now. Let's show you on the side here. There is a sewn um, Cordura strap so the case lid will not fall. Um, I would like to have seen it maybe on both sides, but generally it works very well. Let's take a closer look. All right, so this particular case actually belongs to a colleague of mine, Nick May, great saxophone player, so you should check him out. Uh, this is his ProTech case, so let's take a look at what's going on inside. As you can see, it holds both the alto and the soprano. This is one of the few cases out there that actually will accommodate either a two-piece or one-piece soprano. As you can see, Nick has a Mark VI, so this accommodates. And it has movable inserts, if you can see here. I won't remove this the whole way. Um, and provides a good amount of protection. The instrument doesn't move. Now, you'll notice that Nick has actually put in a couple foam inserts. Now this was something that he got at the local, you know, uh, foam supplier. Um, this is just foam that he purchased. And the reason why is to accommodate a variety of different saxophones. 
from, you know, this happens to be a Mark VI, to a Kyle Worth or some different shape instrument like that, there is movement in the case. And we know that movement is one of the dangerous aspects of, of damage to a case. So he was able to fix this problem by putting in a couple of pieces of foam that not only doesn't damage the keys, it keeps the instrument locked in. Now, uh, in, in defense of Protec, they offer some internal inserts that you can pur purchase uh, separately from their uh, website. But as you can tell, it will hold a variety of saxophones. We have places for two mouthpieces. The neck can go here. Nick keeps his in a pouch. But the neck can go here, which then would allow you to put like an in-bell stand, as well as another location here for a mouthpiece. Um, the internal compartment is rather large. Here we can hold a few neck straps. Here's all of Nick's reeds and things like that. And there's still plenty of room for more materials. Uh, in general, it has a strong wooden divider uh, and holds the, the instrument rather well. There is substantial padding underneath, so the saxophone is held very tight here and here. Uh, so you're not going to have to worry about damage. All right, let's get that back in there. Uh, likewise, there is some space that if you needed to add any supportive uh, uh, materials uh, or any supplemental materials, like you could store a neck strap under here. Likewise, there's also space underneath the case for the soprano. So if I needed to, let's say I'm doing a, a tour, I could put boxes of reeds and then uh, some padding under there. Uh, but generally, this will accommodate both a two-piece and a one-piece and is a good general option for somebody who can't afford some of the more expensive cases out there. All in all, I think you'll find that the Protec Dual Alto and Soprano Saxophone case is a very good option for somebody who needs to have the portability of two instruments but really can't afford a thousand dollars or more for a case. Uh, the pros, obviously price. Uh, the protection is certainly above average and you have a nice hard wooden structure that's going to absorb blows. This is not something that I would expect to be able to put in an overhead. It's also something I would not trust to a baggage handler at an airport. Uh, you definitely need something a lot stronger than that. But if you're a gigging musician, um, having the, the skateboard wheels and the ability to move it uh, is very, very handy. I will say that just like anything that you're going to wheel on the ground, whether it's a BAM baritone case or if it's a Manning case, there's going to be some vibration. So unless the instrument is well um, secure inside, you're going to transfer that vibration through the instrument. So be very uh, sure to make sure that you uh, anchor the instrument in here well. But all in all, a case that you should certainly know about. To read more. Uh, about this particular case as well as other reviews, check out www.thesaxphonist.org.